Hi there! Thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, this is part 4 of our scratch building series of a flying wing. And well, let's first do a little uh, recap of what we've done so far. We've um, uh, made the basic outline of our wing. We've put on uh, our KF2 airfoil, the red part you see here. And we've uh, cut out the uh, elevators and we've uh, put them back on with uh, a piece of tape. And today we'll be installing most of the electronics. Uh, the, the servos for the elevators, the ESC motor. And after that we'll uh, touch upon the uh, uh, CG calculation. So we know where to place our LiPo. Um, I suspect it will be placed somewhere around there, maybe even a little further, but we'll, we'll see after we've done our uh, calculations. Alright, uh, like I said we'll be installing the servos, I've already uh, dry fitted them. I know it's hard to see because they're black on a black surface, but here is a servo and here is a servo, they are not attached to the wing yet. I have off camera screwed in to control uh, horns to the elevators and I've, uh, these, are, uh, these control rods that I'm using are also scrapped for, from another plane but I'm, I'm now using them to guide me where the servo should be. And it should be placed about there. Alright, okay, I've got my uh, hot glue gun ready uh, and uh, well, let's uh, glue them down. I'll uh, just uh, put a, a dab of uh, hot glue on the bottom of the servo and that'll be uh, enough to hold them down. Now, if you want to be really fancy, you cut out a slot into the wing for the servo, uh, you can, perfectly fine, but if you just uh, want to be uh, I want this to be an easy build. Uh, you can just uh, glue them down onto the wing, will work just fine. So let's do just that. Hot glue gun is nice and warm. Okay. Dab of hot glue on that servo. Line it up with the Control rod and of course press it down. And you will see that uh, after the glue has cooled down, the servo will be uh, very securely in place. There's no need to make any kind of uh, servo mount bracket or anything this will keep the servo all nice and steady all right on to the next servo turn it upside down dab of hot glue and line it up There. That should do just nice. Um, as you can also see, I've uh, attached the servo extension wires already. And okay, let's actually check if those extension wires are long enough. Yeah, they'll do just fine. Once again, I've used uh, servo extension wires of about 10 centimeters. Let me check. No, 15 centimeters, sorry. Those are 15 centimeters. All right, next thing the motor installation. Now, in part one, I showed you this motor mount. 
It's a piece of wood and it's uh, three millimeters uh, thick. I've um, pushed two barbecue skewers through them and these barbecue skewers will be slotted into the wing. Like so. Like so. So this is where our motor mount will reside. Alright, and to support this motor mount I've cut out two pieces of foam. This one and this one. And the black one I'll glue onto the top of the wing, like here. It's uh, about the same size of the motor mount, as you can hopefully see. Same width. So I'll glue that onto the top of the wing and this one I'll glue down on the bottom of the wing. And that will give me a nice uh, square piece of, uh, of uh, well, uh, mount for my motor mount itself. Though, let me do that right now. Again, I'm using the hot glue uh, for this. No need to put tons of hot glue on it at this moment. And work it around a little so you distribute all that hot glue nicely all over the place. Make sure it lines up with the back of the plane, of course. And if you are satisfied that it is, press it down. Okie do. Okay, um, we'll do the same thing on the bottom. They have a hot glue for this one as well. -la 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 -la. There. And line it up with the back of the plane. Okay, a bit too much hot glue used, so I'll scrape that off. There, gone. It's quite important for your ali motor alignment that you check if this is all flush now and if it isn't uh, flush at this moment uh, scrape a little off with uh, a knife all right now motor mount installation time and the easiest way to do this is uh, slot it in about halfway through, then put some hot glue on it. Not uh, tons of hot glue, but make sure you get some on those uh, wooden dowels, those barbecue squares. And then push your motor mount in all the way. Check if it's flush. There. 
We now have a motor mount on our plane. How nice is that? Okie um, Well, in fact, uh, I could go right ahead and uh, install my motor now. Uh, let me get the screws for that, just a second. Alright. Motor! Here's my motor. I've already got uh, a propeller attached. Maybe not the propeller I will be really using, but that's not a biggie. Um, I'll be uh, <coughs> using regular wood screws for this. You could go with a uh, nut and bolt uh, solution, of course. But as this is a pusher style airplane, uh, there won't be super amounts of stress on this, uh, this motor mount like this. So you can uh, easily get away with just using wood screws and drive them into the wood. I hope uh, the wood of the alignment of the screw holes is good. This one's fighting me a little. Come on. Yep, we're in. Up we go. Flip it around. And uh, you might notice that I'm situating those motor wires at the bottom of my plane. And from that, you may conclude that my ESC is also going to be at the bottom of our plane, and it is. Um, I've opted uh, for that. You can, uh, if you want to put your ESC at the top of the plane, doesn't matter, will work just fine. But I'm putting mine at the bottom of the plane. See the hole. Oh well. I'll check the alignment off camera in a minute. One more screw to tighten down. I'll do that off camera. But uh, next thing we can do is uh, install our ESC. And I'm sure most of you have uh, already uh, worked with uh, brushless ESCs. If your motor is running the wrong way around. You can just uh, switch out two of the connectors, doesn't matter which two, and your motor will be running the other way around after that. Very simple. Alright, I'd like my ESC to be placed forward as far as possible. Alright, piece of Double sided tape needed. About that length. This isn't uh, your regular run of the mill double sided tape, it's industrial double sided tape to make sure my ESC really stays on. Uh, you wouldn't want to use uh, hot glue, by the way, to attach the ESC, because the ESC will get warmer in flight and that will melt your hot glue. There we go. 
Yes, she is on. Um, I think I will be making a, a few pieces of uh, foam board like uh, ridges alongside the ESCs to protect it. And my battery will be situated uh, about here. So those ridges will also prevent damage to my LiPo. But I think uh, those kind of things are good to just uh, leave to you and to your artistic interpretation. Uh, the nice thing of, uh, about a scratch build is also of course that you can uh, make it look like you want it to look. Now let's flip her back over. Of course I'll have to make a little hole to run my uh, ESC's connector to the uh, receiver to the top because I'll put my receiver around here and besides that I'll also put something resembling a, a fuselage on, on the top here. Now the main purpose of this fuselage thing is uh, so that I have a, uh, a handle, a grip to toss my, uh, my plane into the air. Of course you can go with uh, the, the side uh, grip and uh, toss it uh, away like that. Uh, I prefer underhand tossing uh, my plane so I'll put a fuselage look-alike thing on the, on the top which is nothing more than two pieces of uh, foam board and uh, size and shape doesn't matter at all so you can make of this uh, work whichever uh, you uh, want um, all right what else do we need to install ah yeah we do need some vertical stabilizer uh, fins that uh, run up. Um, I'll cut those out for you off camera and then I'll be uh, back. Alrighty, I have cut out two vertical stabilizers. Here they are. And these are 12 centimeters in width and also about 12 centimeters in height and I will be hot gluing those down here and here now you might be wondering why not put them at the tips of the wing like so um, I hope you can see this but uh, I think you've uh, already seen uh, pictures and movies of wings which have the vertical stabilizers out on the wingtips and that works uh, very well but in transport uh, you are likely to knock those off um, I have another wing with the, the vertical stabilizers at the wingtips and I have to be really cautious when transporting it in and out of the car so uh, for this build I'll be putting them at uh, well at the tips of the of, of the propeller really of course I've made sure that the propeller won't hit them okie do so let's glue those down as well my hot glue gun is still warm and we put a bit of glue on the bottom actually why not put the of glue. Now I'm going to put a bead of glue on the bottom of the stabilizer. Come on. There. And then press it down. Wiggle it around a little so you distribute that glue. And make sure it's at a 90 degree angle and 
if you are satisfied with that, take a piece of scrap plastic and wipe off the excess. Alright, there we go. Alright. Do the same with the other one, of course. There. Wiggle it around a little. So you distribute that hot glue nice. Make sure it's at a 90 degree angle. And once again. Take a scrap piece of foam and wipe off the excess on both sides. There you go. And how is this looking? This actually looks quite good. Okie dokie. Well, um, I think that's most of the important uh, things uh, done uh, for now. Um, in the next video I'll uh, guide you through determining the CG and uh, making sure your elevators uh, uh, work the right way around. But uh, for now this is it and um, thank you for watching of course and hope to see you back in the next video. Bye bye.